Oh, well, here we are at Elk River Hiking Trail. It's fun around here. That's kind of crazy. There we go. Alrighty. Gonna be shooting with the uh, phone today. It is, let's get away from my face. You're just outside of Independent, Kansas. Off work today. Thought I'd come out and warm the old legs up. And it's supposed to be a cloudy day, but it's turned out to be extremely foggy. It'll be a little wet on the trail, I'm assuming. But it's supposed to be by noon, sun's supposed to break out, so we'll move on through here. Got the rain jacket on. May wind up stopping and putting the pants on. And we got a little hill climb here right off the bat, so I'm sure we'll get warmed up. And we'll see how this uh, how this works. Figure out where the trail goes off over here at. I see the blue blazes from here and maybe go out four or five miles and turn around and come back. I don't know. We'll see how it pans out. From what I can see, it's lake's pretty beautiful. No time will tell. Got water running everywhere, so. It's high on a ridge. I got two liters of water on me. I'm sure we'll come across water somewhere. All right, onward and upward. Okay, so Kansas Trail Count, Kansas Trail Council Trail Club, I guess is who maintains the trail. So I logged there, signed in. And you can see right back over through the trees is where the parking area is. So we're going to cross this little creek here and head up that way. Okay, so the trail brought you right up to that crack. Right up here against the bluff. Pretty cool. Well, pretty neat. So we're working right along this this bluff. We come just a little ways out. It's pretty neat how they trail routed you in there. See if I can get down this stuff is slick. Not falling. Put the phone back up. You can see right down through there's where we came. The trail goes right over there and then put you right back up in that little crag area. So someone's got a geo box. Grass has been working that plastic over. So Check this overhang out. Isn't that cool? Wow, there's where we come out of the crag right in there. Pretty neat. Okay, put the camera away and get around the corner. Okay, we're still just working our way along this ridge. Lots of little crags and stuff, crags we came by and as you can see the trail's well marked and easy to follow. Road from Independence that you come in on is right there. I suspect we're going to He's right on up here to where the dam is. We get on top. We may get on top sooner. Kind of what I suspected is uh, you could see, wait for the fog, you could see it, but uh, we're right at the end of the dam where they brought the dam to the mountain, basically. And it broke out of this ridge line of rocks. 
And we appear to be on top of the trail. Uh, one of the red is basically just follows this red, the trail follows the ridge line across here. And we're working our way in and out on the cliffs. So. We'll move along here and just uh, kind of keep trucking. Piece from the fast, piece of winch cable snaked up in there. So, alrighty, let's keep moving. No trail's gonna be soupy all the way across here. This is the road that comes up off the dam. Yep. That's what it looks like. No, I wouldn't doubt. This might have been an old train. That, that makes too hard to have been. That's no roadbed. Alright, up to there we go. Well, trail goes down through that crack. Very interesting. Okay. So we come up on top, now we're dropping back down. And uh, <clears throat> let's see if we can squeeze through this thing here. Okay. Trekking pose. And long legs paid off. Okay, so we're at mile marker one. We come back up into the woods a little bit. Like we're pushing across a little drainage area. Well, we're kind of getting some views. Come out on this here, uh, about one point or something like that maybe not very far in lots of good campsites hopefully we'll get uh, get a clear off here and the sun will break out we'll get a little bit better view and uh, you know they were saying you pack it in you pack it out you stand here admiring this beautiful view and people just throwing the trash over the edge like it's a dead gun dump ground come on folks This whole world is getting more and more people on. Let's try to take care of what we got. So at least we can have something to come look at every once in a while. Break our old mind from the mundane and all the crap we got to put up with on a daily basis. So, anyway, there's my pet peeve. I'm probably back at it when I see more trash, but anyway. There's that alcove I just walked under. Trail's been a uh, been a pretty good trail. It's, it gives you a little bit of everything down through here. So uh, can't complain. Very beautiful. As I said earlier, so you get the uh, you get the little rock scrambling and little everything. Let's finish around here, show you that back up through there. Look at that. Mm-hmm. I like it. So now people say there's not any water, but there is more than easy places to get down to the lake and grab water on this section. Oh, look at there. Uh, not too. Been in about an hour, hour and fifteen minutes, I think. So, I 
That's why I didn't take so much video. I'd be at that little over two mile an hour mark. But it's just an out and back. Get that thing away from my face. I'm working on this shooting stuff, guys. You get the talking and walking. Don't pay attention. I pull that arm back. So here we go. Oh. All right. All right, I'll turn this thing off. Oh, let me spin you around here one more time. There's where I'm headed to. Isn't that beautiful? And there's where I came from. All right, let's turn this off. Probably around 2.2, I'm guessing, an inch. So this trail was possible. Thank you. You got wind chimes. No wind today though. Supposed to have a cold front come through. Wow, right, look at this. And I bet that is beautiful. But you know, it's beautiful in its own right. It surely is. I need to quit saying it. I was wishing for those bluebird kind of days, but you know what? You gotta have the storms and rain to have life. You gotta have these kind of days to have springtime. So, all right. This part of the trail has turned out to be a nice little walk for sure. Uh, there's a trail back up in there, and I bet that's to a campsite. I've seen other videos where people was marking all these campsites, but yep, back in there there is one. I've got it on my mind. Long weekend or take three days off work and really would like to do the trail in two. Be good another good run up to getting ready for those Ark Islands trail. So Onward we go. Well, here's a note for you. Uh, back up that way was where the bench was. You see all this driftwood in here? Driftwood all the way up in here. Driftwood gets there by water. So I would be in about uh, one and a half foot of water. I was trying to get so you, it looks like you'd have to be rerouted up on top of that cliff to get around this mess. Uh, here we definitely be in six, seven foot of water. So I don't know what elevation stages would be. But the trail would be underwater for sure. Okay. Looks like the trail goes around here quite a ways in this. There is driftwood all over this thing. Alright, let me turn this off and look at my end range. See what elevation we're at. Okay, end range says we're at 813 foot. This has got to be around well, 2.5 or so, somewhere in there. So you may want to look at, oh, get that out there, sorry guys, get that out there. Uh, you may want to look at your uh, lake levels if you're coming across here in the spring after a bunch of raining. Because we are in, and sure enough, driftwood pile. Alright, I'll switch this camera around and show you guys. I can't believe how much wood is back up in here. Okay, got my ugly head out of the way. See how much wood's in here? 
This just amazes me how much, I guess it's been on the north side of the lake and the south winds pushing all the wood in after a big flood or something or another. So, if it's around, lake level's around 813 elevation, it'll be a little bit hard to get through here. Okay, like we're heading back up the hill again. Okay, so we walked back up the draw. That drainage area where I showed you the driftwood first started. Trail drops down from the ledge up there. Uh, currently here, February 17th, I think it is, 2020. Uh, water's running, which has been raining. Pretty clear water, too. So, about 2.75 minutes somewhere near so very beautiful all right let's go climb again well, here we are at mile three making our way down and of course the trail's been well marked looking out across the misty lake so let a, one couple on the trail which i've seen them starting here before I was getting my stuff together. They came down the back, so we head on down here and I don't know, do another place another mile probably. And we'll see how it see how it is on down towards this other end. So Okay, we just come past the three mile mark back there. So it's probably about 3.2. And that's the road that you see on the all trails map that comes back in here. So. And I don't think that would be something you do in a car. Definitely pick up four wheelers, definitely. So I'm not sure where it comes from over there where you actually get in here. Maybe coming across private property too. It looks like it goes down to the lake. Uh, after the three mile mark, we're starting to get out of the cliff area part of the trail, looks like. Oh, look out! Woo! Yep, rocks are slick. We stayed above, up on two feet. Thank you, Lord. Alrighty. I'm going to look over here and see what that road does. Just go to the lake. Of course, it's got driftwood all over it right there. So, anyway, I'm cruising along here now. I was looking at the all trails map, and it looks like we're just about to drop off and get away from the lake. This is kind of where I was shooting forward to walk out and turn around and come back today. Okay, made that to mile four. Trail's starting to level out quite a bit. Just walking along this kind of walking woods, among cedar trees and hardwoods. Lake's kind of right over in there. Starting to clear off a little bit. That's good. I was hoping I'd come to some water, which I knew the had to get water out of the lake, but water, water all the comments. But I've had across two streams now that's running. Sure from all the rain. And I hear the geese, uh, 3.5, I walked past it, didn't see it coming in, but coming way back out, maybe 3.75. Trail routes, routes all the way around this thing. Uh, snow geese, it looks like. 
Anyway, it's out in one of those points. And it's accommodating you can hear the wind flowing over those birds' wings as they're flying. Anyway, uh, back in there, nice campsite. So about 375. Well, there we go. Finally get some sunshine. I'm back around here to where this bench is on this overlook. Finally get some sunshine. It's still hazy out there, but man, this sure is beautiful. Definitely be nice to come back up here on a bluebird kind of day. And woo -wee, that's a drop off there for sure. So as we look out across the lake, I'm working my way back. So it's going to be a beautiful day, it looks like, it's going to turn out to be. Alrighty, let's get the motor on. Here we go. Getting quite a few bit better views this afternoon as so I'm walking back out. Sun's starting to pop out. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. There's where I came from. We're back in here against the cliffs again. Working our way. Look at this. It goes all the way through. No crawl space. Oh. Go around the corner here. See if we can see the other side of us. Get up there. We drop down. Yeah, let's look right here. What's this right here? Yeah, that's part of it right through there. You can see up there. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay. I'm going to march back. Okay. Just now coming back, getting close back to the road. Back over here where the Dam runs into the uh, mountain or cliffs that we've been following. You do have some elevation gain in here. You can kind of see the lake out there now. Didn't sit this morning, it was so foggy. All these little outcoves back in here. So, there's a road across the dam. a little bit better idea how this trail starts over here so it comes right up here to the dam and then you take off and you follow the lake a little bit better view today coming back out of here this is where that uh, walk between that rocky crag this is where it came out this morning That neat. Okay, we're going home through this crag. A better view without much fog. It's pretty, pretty awesome right here. I like this. Pretty awesome. This is just right up from the trailhead. So if you're just passing by, only got 20 minutes to an hour to hike, you can come up here and look at this. Pretty cool. Dad and his kids out ahead of me. I don't know if I can hear them. I'm going to show you coming to what this came to. Out through there. You come out down there. Pretty cool. 